Do you know what spirituality is about, my friends and ladies and gentlemen? Spirituality is about many things. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about energy. That spirituality is energy. And so spirituality is trying to get more energy into yourself. Energy from where? From whatever source. The sun, the moon, the fruits, the vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains, legumes, water, human beings, plants, animals, the earth, the solar systems, the gods, demons, deities, whatever, wherever, air, earth, fire, water, space, doesn't matter where you get the energy. That's what spirituality is about, essentially, is about energy. Hey, what is spirituality about? Is spirituality about contacting spirits and being ooh la la and seeing rainbows? No, it's about cultivating energy. Spirituality is about energy. Now, think about the most powerful spiritual being you know. Maybe it's me. Okay, congratulations if you know me first and in real life. Fantastic for you. But uh, it's not me because I don't have the max amount of energy. Or think about someone else. Let's say, for example, Shiva, the Adi Yogi. Okay, well, actually, let's come back to me. I have a great deal of energy in my body. That's what makes me spiritual. And it makes me more spiritual the days that I progress and continuously accumulate more energy through my spiritual practices and whatever I'm doing, my work with the sun or the moon or the planet or air, fire, water, food, it doesn't matter where, it, uh, I absorb much more energy. That's what spirituality is. Someone who is not so evolved in the spiritual path, someone just, you know, walking down the street over there, they don't have a lot of energy, spiritually speaking, a lot of prana or a lot of Energy. There's not really many, many uh, synonymous words with energy, but energy. That's what the whole game is about. Spirituality is about energy. Now let's look at uh, far more powerful beings than I am. Okay, let's say for example Siddhartha Gautama or the Buddha. The Buddha had vast amounts of energy inside of his body. Energy that he could accomplish various feats. Psychic powers and spiritual insights and knowledge and so much wisdom in, in his mind. It's tremendous, it's phenomenal. And how does he get that? Essentially, it's with energy, energy. We don't have to look way into the past, uh, you know, all the way back to Siddhartha Gautama. We can just look at today's day and age into what I believe the most enlightened man that's currently walking this planet Earth, which is of course, Sadhguru. That man has tremendous amounts of energy. When I say energy, it's not only that this man can go out and work 16, 17, 18 hours of the day and sleep three, four hours, which he does and which he is working that many days. And he can accomplish so many things and he can run a marathon and he can do this and he can do that and he can do X, Y, and Z. He can do those things. When I speak about energy, it's not only this energy, the physical energy, but the internal energy, the spiritual energy. How do you define that? What example can I give you of that? Well, my friends, if you are on the spiritual path and you are wielding energy, you are someone that wields energy, and if you've ever been in contact with spiritual energy, maybe you've talked to me face to face, maybe you meditate on Sadhguru, maybe you're, uh, you know, uh, went to some beautiful consecrated space and you felt the actual energy, you know what I'm talking about. I can't really delve into this even more. Without going too far into this topic, I want to, of course, mention the most important source of energy that we have here, which is, of course, Shiva, the Adi Yogi, okay, the first Yogi. The first Yogi had tremendous amounts of energy, tremendous. In fact, I'll share with you a little story. Today, a very wonderful uh, ally and friend of mine, it's worth mentioning his name here, Bimbisara. Okay, shout out to you if you're watching this. He took me and my friend here, Dennis, to uh, a part of Auckland, which is uh, in the center of this whole city, is a big, beautiful Buddhist monastery. And I uh, will make sure to upload a YouTube short, either today or tomorrow, about it. Me in the center of it. And there I realized and saw the Buddha once again, because I haven't been studying the Buddha's uh, teachings for quite some time. And I saw the Buddha from a different perspective. I saw that he was a beneficiary 
of the Adi Yogi's teachings, or the first Yogi's teachings, or Shiva's teachings. And Shiva, many, many thousands of years ago, had seven disciples, and those seven disciples spread the laws of spirituality all throughout the planet. And it's a result of them that we have literally everything that we know about spirituality. So Shiva, can't really call him a human being, something else, something phenomenal, a being, had so much energy, incomprehensible amounts of energy. Energy enough to energize and consecrate a whole mountain by himself, single-handedly. Single -handedly. That's phenomenal. That's, uh, a human being is not capable of doing that. And it's from him that the source of yoga came forth. So, uh, my friends, in conclusion, to conclude this video, hopefully you've understood my message here that spirituality is about energy. I'm going to reiterate, spirituality is about energy. Where are you cultivating your energy from? Ultimately, fundamentally, the source of energy is within you. That's the source of creation. The source of light is within us, within you and I. We can call God or heaven. You know, Jesus said that the the kingdom of God is within you. Yes, he's absolutely correct. Yet, this doesn't mean to say that externally, if there is such a thing externally, right, internally, it's all the same really to me, that uh, you can't search for energy outside of you. You absolutely can. What are some sources for energy? Let's say you're spiritually uh, inclined and involved and you're on the spiritual path and you've watched this video up until now and you're thinking to yourself and you're asking this question, well, where do I get energy from? This guy keeps talking about energy and spirituality. Energy is energy. Where do I get energy from? I will give you some sources, okay? Number one, sunlight. It's a phenomenal energy source. The biggest energy source in the solar system. It doesn't get bigger than that, okay? so. Look up in the sun, go suntan, go absorb sunlight into your body, meaning go take off your clothes in a safe atmosphere and get the sun's rays on you. The moon is a source of energy. Planet Earth is a source of energy. Kailash is a source of spiritual energy. Tremendous, phenomenal amounts of energy. Energy that probably you've never tasted or touched or felt in your entire life before, which is Kailash. If you can just get to know that mountain, even for one single second, you will be transformed, your life will be transformed and changed for the better. That's what I wish for you. That's why I have a little image of Kailash right here on the bottom left-hand corner, right there, or right for you. The Dhyana Linga, of course, uh, needs to be mentioned here, is also a phenomenal sense of energy because it is a direct representation of an enlightened being in an energy form instead of a stone. And you can just approach it wherever you are in the world Maybe you have a picture of it. Maybe you just imagine it in your mind. Maybe you watch a YouTube video of it. And if you concentrate enough on that space, and if you really invoke that presence within yourself, all the energy that you can ever need as a human being is right there. So my friends, the analogy that I will leave you with here is that you are like a vessel. And you as a vessel, it is your responsibility to fill up this vessel, spiritually speaking, energetically speaking. In what ways can you do that? The ways that I've mentioned, meditate, uh, visit Kailash, go to the Dhyana Linga, look up at the sun, do various, various things you can do for energy. Okay, watch my videos. I'm also sharing with you my energy. That's why most of you feel good watching me and also keep coming back because you know this is an energy source that you can always tap into. I am an energy source and if you're connected with me and if you're in alignment with me, you can receive this very graciously. So you can do that. And it's also important to note and mention here is that you shouldn't do actions which dissipate your energy, let go of your energy. As a man, I've talked about this many times, one of the biggest ways you can release and let go of your energy, which is not a wise thing to do, is to do the sexual act and release your uh, reproductive energy, okay? So that's, that's a surefire way to let go of all the spiritual energy you've cultivated and basically start at zero or start from scratch, which you don't want to do. How else do you release or let go of energy, which is again, not what you want to do? Well, you eat bad foods, you eat meat, you eat dairy, you eat eggs, you eat cheese, you eat processed foods, you eat food that's dead and stale and cooked to a large extent. 
is all of this, it prevents your energy from flowing and actually takes energy from your own body that you already have cultivated and that you already have. And that energy is being used to digest this bad food that you've eaten. There are so many other ways that you lose energy watching bad videos and movies and various things, things that are harmful for you, spending time with the wrong people. So again, my friends, to re reiterate, spirituality is about not letting go of energy, but cultivating energy. If you can cultivate enough energy, this vessel will be filled up to the brim. Once it's filled up to the brim, all of light will cascade from the top of your spine and you will feel free of everything that there is that's uh, a bondage here on planet Earth. So that's what I wish for you, my friends. I wish you nothing but liberation, peace, harmony, happiness, the ultimate experiences of life. That's what I wish for you. Such profound, blissful intensity that you cry tears of joy. So uh, nothing else. Nothing else needs to be shared. So continue, my friends. Continue along in the spiritual path. Don't let this go. Don't ever let this go. I will be here for you making these YouTube videos. And I'm also here for you um, in multiple ways. If you're struggling, if you're striving, or if you have obstacles or things, challenges that you're dealing with in life, I can speak with you directly. The price to talk to me is 120 Canadian dollars. And um, I think that's very fair. The links will be down below to my PayPal account. You send me $120 um, in donation. And then we will speak to each other via Facebook or maybe uh, Discord. The links will be provided down below. So first, send me the uh, PayPal donation and then contact me and I will directly change your life.